One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome to another edition of Life and Style by Kevin Samuels. Again, if you like what I'm doing, do me a favor, click the subscribe button on the YouTube channel and do me a favor, forward this out to as many friends as you know who can maybe use this information. Today, we're going to be talking about a fragrance from the house of Joe Malone, Velvet Rose Oud. Um, if you are like me, you like rose fragrances. Guys, there are some roses out there that are uniquely masculine, especially when you do a rose oud combination. Now, we know in the niche world, this combination has been done to death. But for those who may not be as familiar, let's go on and talk about it. So, let's start with the fragrance. You're going to get Damascus rose, clove, oud, and some praline in it. Uh, what is that really going to give you? You're going to get a warm, rose oud, sweet, spicy, nutty kind of fragrance, as usual. What does that mean? To me, it just means simple and sexy. That's it. Warm, simple, sexy. I love this fragrance because it doesn't try to be anything other than what it is. It is a great Damascus rose, which is a more bold smelling rose. It's not like people think of your grandmother's rose where it's like, for lack of a better word, the old lady rose. It's not that. It's an in your, it's not an in your face rose. It's more just kind of settled. So as far as perform, as far as performance, I get when I use the body oil and then I spray the fragrance on, I'm getting eight plus hours out of it. When I, uh, projection, I'm getting about three feet. Sillage, about three feet. So performance wise, it's not a beast, but it's not meant to be. A rose is meant to be, I think roses should be a lot more close to you. So when you get in someone's personal space, it's that last little bit. Think of it like this. I like to think of rose fragrances as leaning in for a kiss. Think about the first time you kiss someone. You know, when you make the first move, it's that last 18 inches in to where you really can connect. That's what rose oud fragrances I look for in those. In that last two feet, when you're in my space, does it draw you in? This does it unlike any others that I know of. There are some, and I'll talk about them, but this is a great one. In my opinion, if you can get your nose on it, smell it, try it, and if you dig rose oud, you will love it and buy it. Uh, it is definitely signature scent worthy. It's one that can be worn day, night, office appropriate, special occasions. It can go year round in my opinion, because as long as you make sure you are not going too heavy on the trigger in the warmer months, you're good. So what's not to love? A simple, sexy fragrance that you can layer on with the body oil. They have a body creme. They also have an intense fragrance. And if you really want to spice it up, you can put it on top. You can put some red rose, some uh, Joe Malone on top of it to brighten it up. Or if you really want to get that deep, sultry, seductive thing, put on the body oil and then put dark amber ginger lily on top of it and send me the announcement for your next baby because yeah it's that good till next time talk to you later